sure, for sure, for sure. All you you guys have had some great connection and, you know, albeit good or bad, but, you know, in the past life. But, you know, I uh, admittedly, you know, um, this isn't, uh, this is taken away a little bit from about your daughter, but, I, you know, I have a great difficulty, you know, uh, sometimes with Tommy as well, but, you know, as far as communication, but in another way, I look at it like, okay, well, he's he's my teacher and he's teaching me how to have patience. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, everybody yeah. has a gift. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets has your a gift. Sweet, precious yeah. daughter. Yeah. Um wow. You know, uh I think in this lifetime perhaps she helped you die last time. Ah. Oh, you know, that's and, an interesting and, thing. and the long <clears throat> and the lamas do say that uh, in a, in a lot of cases, not all, that um, we are born back into the same family. In other words, it goes mother, daughter, daughter, mother, that kind of thing. Um, that makes sense. People, I did feel yeah. like she was one of my teachers, but I couldn't find any soul connection. I mean, Tommy and I are much deeper from because it's embedded in my memory codes, which I don't understand. Uh-huh. I've never met Tommy. I've never met him in human form. That doesn't make sense. And I lived with my daughter. She came out of my body and lived with me and then died. And, you know, it's like it's very traumatic what I'm going through. So I don't oh, understand, honey, you know. You're just not supposed to lose a friend or a loved one, but especially when you birthed them through your body not, and you both came in. You know, it's just it's weird. It's very weird. It's and you know, because you've got it's children. Just, yeah. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, you know. Um, so I guess I'm looking and, for and that again, soul connection. You know, but why didn't well, I feel it deeper with her? And I do with Tommy. That doesn't make sense. I've never met Tommy. But that's why I wanted to bring you on to help me heal and talk about, you know, our soul and living and dying and reincarnation. And, and then, I, you know, we, she believed she was from up in heaven and star seeds and E.T., but we didn't know how to express it in human form. Yeah. It was, it's very crazy how, to, how these feelings and emotions and thoughts are so deep for somebody I've never met and that can push all my buttons and she could push buttons too. Her and Tommy had that in common. <laughs> can I just say one you know, thing? Sure. All right. Oh, now for yes. me, I, I was already shown that I'll see everybody that I have ever had a past life with that's in this physical world in this lifetime. I was told that. So, I mean, no matter where I go, I meet people and I'm super close to them and super know them and all these things. It's because of my past lives. And it says you're going to see all the souls that I did meet in all my other lifetimes here that are here now that are still working it out. So, uh, so your connection with me, I'm sure we did meet in another lifetime. Uh, I remember most of mine. I don't remember all the people in each one. I remember the theme and what was happening. So uh, I only remember one lifetime past Atlantis before I was on planet Earth. But uh, all those experiences create your reality when you become aware of it. If you don't remember that and you don't experience all that, I think it's wasted. I mean, some people don't believe that. I think all that learning, all that stuff you went through is helping soul take a giant step. And I use the word soul. Uh, Some people use consciousness, but... For me, the experiences I had, actual out-of-body experiences and traveling and all those things, I proved certain things. So it's not just a thought. It's not just an energy, and it's not just something that everybody thinks of. So for me, it's a lot different. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in because right now when you say you, you, you're close to me in a lot of ways, it's because when we did talk, we got into a lot of things right away because you were talking about Green Tara. I mean, I met Green Tara. I worked with her for years. So there, there was a connection, and so was Namgal. The reason why I really got close to Namgal, she had the statue of Namgal, of Namgal, of uh, Green Tara there when I first met her. And I oh, thought, wow. wow. That's weird that we all three got Buddhists and Tara 
And it's weird. I mean, here we all – so you can almost find facts in your reality of what I've been talking about. So uh, Namgal had a green Tara too, and here I am talking to her again. Wow, what a circle. <laughs> So she may be in my life, too, in the past. Is that what you're saying, Tommy? All three of us could have well, been in a past she, life together? I would say at different lifetimes, probably not the same one. Uh, yeah. We relate to what we want to relate to, and that's what most people do. I mean, if they were a homeless person in ten lifetimes, they're not going to remember that. They're not going to want to remember that. If they were a king, oh, well, I was a king. I don't remember Gigi, whether she was poor or rich or anything. I don't remember her. But and, you remember. And she's gone and now. I mean, I remember this, this a, reality. This like isn't a my only child. View, my viewpoint. We have karma. And a lot of times that karma makes us come back to certain situations, but they're not the ones that we want. I mean, a lot of people, most people would want to reincarnate back into their family. I would never. In any lifetime I had, well, I wouldn't want to reincarnate back into the same family. Uh-huh. That was the other ahead, thing I was going to suggest, that even if, even if um, you don't, like, remember your past life um, or you're not um, evolved enough yet in your lifetimes to, to even be on a spiritual path, at least you are doing one thing in each lifetime, and that is burning off karma from any bad karma you have may have created out of ignorance from a, um, a prior existence because we and that's that's another thing I just want to hit on is 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 ignorance you know and and how man we're just ignorant and we don't mean to step on other people's toes in, in any way a lot of us anyway and um but but out of ignorance, that's kind of the crux of what we get into this karma situation out of anyway. We don't know any better. And so, hence, we create karma for ourselves out of ignorance. And then, you know, it's back to the, it's kind of like the back to the wheel of birth and death that, you you know, you see represented a lot of times when, uh, when, when we talk about Tibetan Buddhism. There's always a wheel, an eight-spoked wheel. And it's it's the the wheel of birth, death, ignorance, you know, karma, the wearing out of karma, the wearing out of ignorance, where after so many lifetimes, you know, of reincarnating, we suddenly we start to get spiritual. We realize, oh, wait a minute, this is very important. You know, we're not just here for, you know, um, to watch video games or whatever, even though that it's cool to take time off to do that too, but um, but it, it's all about in the end we don't have any choice but be perpetuated into these reincarnations until we uh, you know start becoming spiritual and we can choose to get off of the wheel of life, birth, karma. We can extinguish our karma in the, in, in many ways and, and get off of the wheel and then there comes you know the um you know the um, init- uh, uh, um, not the incarnates where when you're reincarnated you are hurled into your next existence from this one unless you have evolved enough spiritually or you catch your uh, at at the time of death there's an opportunity to catch to catch it and, and see that and if you see it at the time of death you can actually jump off at that time as well so it's I don't want to say oh if, if you haven't studied for your lifetime and for a gajillion years you know you're not. It's not going to happen to you because I. I would never. You know. I'm not going to say that because it's not true. But. But generally speaking, that's the way the wheel goes until it, at, at such time when we, you know, can make that choice. And and we, usually when we get to that place, we realize that incarnating won't be as painful for us because. We under we have an understanding now 
And because of that understanding, we can take a bodhisattva vow, which means that we will come back to help people that want to understand and want to jump off the wheel. And, and so we, we, can't, we can't just leave people here without help. You know, it's like, it's like oh, okay, I'm going to cruise out and leave everybody without a lifeboat. But, you know, I'm in it for myself. And, and incidentally, you know, there's, there's really, um, in, in the Hinayana view, it, it, which is kind of like what's practiced uh, by the, mostly like in Thailand and Malaysia, uh, and that is the view is, you know, just to get yourself off the wheel. But in the Mahayana view, which is Tibetan Buddhism, Vajrayana Buddhism, it's coming back uh, to help others, and you will take on any form necessary to do that. As a Can you explain Bodhisattva to everybody? I know what it means, but I'd like to hear you because you're much more educated in this uh, discipline or modality or... I don't know that it's a religion, but anyway, Buddhism, and there's apparently various types. But can you, because you use the word, and so could you explain sure. Bodhisattva and, and the circle or wheel of life? So sure. it's just things you know. Thanks. Sure. Okay, a Bodhisattva is a being with profound um, enlightened attitude and that takes a vow to work for the benefit of all sentient beings until psychic, cyclic existence is empty. What do I mean by cyclic existence? Just what I explained about the wheel. The wheel is cyclic existence. And bodhicitta is, uh, it's compassion. A bodhisattva has profound compassion. And bodhicitta is the mind of enlightenment, the ultimate altruistic mind of enlightenment to attain Buddhahood for the sake of other sentient beings, a bodhisattva's way of life. So um, it's the virtue of putting others before self. Was that helpful? Thank you. Yes. Sure. I, I just put Tommy on. Uh, Tommy, I guess, is calling on Skype or something because it's making a buzzing, but but Tommy, when you want to talk, I'll put you back. Well, let me let him. Uh, Tommy, can you hear me? Sure. Yeah, I'm here. I'm on the other uh, phone. I I didn't know if it's if it's noisy, I'll hang it up and I'll stay in the other room. You hear a buzzing on it? It. Uh huh. It could be because you're too close to the other cell phone. Are they both cell phones your own? I just don't know. Yeah, but I'm in the other room. I'm in oh, the other really? room. Well. Huh. Only, uh, well, when I put you on mute, it stops buzzing. I I did try right, it out even just on mute. while she was talking. I'll, I'll go in the other room if I want to say something. Well, uh, I guess we got to talk about several words here. Uh, okay, but, sure. Uh, uh, but the wheel of life. Uh, yes. Uh, there's so many things in Buddhism that you don't learn in Christianity, and Tommy made a good list here for me to to ask certain questions. Uh, so we've covered karma dharma, Tommy. And we, and does Buddhists believe in gods or deities, or deity gods? So, and uh, uh, I'll let you answer that, and then Tommy, I'm gonna put you on because Tommy can come on and handle the last hour. He can make notes, right, Tommy? Um, right. And go back into what you want. But okay, let's yeah. hear her. I'm going to put you on mute so she can talk. Okay, now no buzzing for Spreaker and for iTunes and YouTube later because oh. you're on FM radio too. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. hear your gods do Buddhist, and deities. Do Buddhists, yeah, do Buddhists mm-hmm. believe in God? In God? No, we don't. We believe in mind. We also, but, but why we examine Buddha examined the issue, <laughs> and he found that uh, actually uh, a lot of the folks that 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 do believe in God were doing so because it seemed to him like they needed a crutch. Um, please don't don't please no one um, 
that that does believe in God don't 